In today's video, I'm going to show you how I net over $100,000 in my first year of business working part-time as a wax specialist. This video is purely for educational purposes and I am in no way trying to brag about how much money I'm making. I mean, let's be honest, $100,000 really isn't much to brag about. My hopes for this video is to show you what is possible when you work hard but also smart. You're really going to want to stick around for the end of this video and if you guys have any questions at the end, please leave them in the comments below. My name is Lindsay Edwards and I am a six-figure solo esthetician and I I am on a mission to help other solo estheticians and beauty professionals get started and succeed in their very own careers. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to turn on your notifications so you never miss out on a chance on how you can grow your business. So let's get into it. During this off season, which is January through February for me, I have reduced the number of hours I work to just under 30 hours a week, and I'm still able to bring in five figures a month. Now the summer months are where I make the most, and I'm still what I consider part-time, working about 32 hours a week, and this summer I expect to make upwards of seventeen dollars to $20,000 a month. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. Really quick, I just wanted to take a second to be as transparent as I can with you guys. So I wanted to show you the progression over my first full calendar year. So I highlighted the month and what I had made that month. So starting with January, you will start to see an increase. And this is what I made in March, and in April, and in May. June was a really good month, so this was a $13,000 month, and July was also another great month, and this was August, and as the fall months come, you will start to see a slow decrease, and this is what I made in November and December, and so overall, I made $105,000. This is, keep in mind, credit card transactions. This does not include cash. So I made $21,000 in cash. So altogether, $126,000. So I really just wanted to come on here and show you my progression, show you what is possible, but let's go ahead and get back into the video. Now, it wasn't always like this, and this isn't a pity story, rather than me just being real and honest with you guys about my journey and how I got started. I started in July of 2020, right in the middle of the pandemic, and I know it was kind of a bold move, but I had the plans of opening my studio one month before lockdown, so I wasn't ready to give up on my goals just yet. There were days where I'd maybe have one client in a day, and it felt like I wasn't doing something right when I had to get a part-time job, waiting tables, just to keep up with my bills. So if any of you are in the same shoes I was in, just know I see you and I know where you guys are coming from. When I was getting started, I wish I had someone who could give me some sort of direction on how to run a successful business. Because let's be honest, in aesthetic school, they teach you on how to pass your boards, but not how to start and run a successful business. So if any of this resonates with you, just know you are in the right place. In this video, I'm not going to touch on every single topic, things like business entity structures, creating your website, choosing a booking platform, taxes, etc. are not in this video, but they are very important for a successful business. So of course, these are videos I can create in the future. Just drop a comment down below on which ones y'all would like to see next. In this video, we'll be covering just the ones that will grow your business to six figures the fastest. So first things first, if you're not already a licensed esthetician, you're going to want to enroll in an esthetician school near you. While you're in school, I highly recommend practicing every different kind of service. That way you can figure out what you're most passionate about. Once you've figured that out, start building your portfolio with lots of pictures and lots of videos of all of your work so you can use this later on. If you're thinking of starting your own business right out of school, I'm not saying that it's going to be impossible to have a successful business, but I do recommend working for someone for at least 3 to 12 months so this way you can get really good at what you're doing and grow your confidence. Working at European Wax Center before I opened up was really one of the best things I could have ever done for myself. Now I recommend specializing in one field of aesthetics, whether it's waxing, skincare, lashes, makeup, makeup, etc. Choose one and be the best in your area at it. In the world of social media, anymore people are looking for a specialist in whatever service they're looking to get. Now if you're thinking of offering multiple services, I think this is okay. But in my personal opinion, I think if you choose one area and get really good at it, your future clients are going to notice a difference and you're really going to stand out. Repetition builds confidence and confidence is going to attract clients. So the more confident you grow in your skills, the more efficient you'll be, allowing you to fit more clients in the day bringing you more money in your pocket for example if i'm wanting balayage i'm going to go to someone who specializes in balayage or if i'm wanting really cool abstract nail art i'm going to go to someone who specializes in nail design now i give most of the credit to instagram for my success so while you're enrolled in school you're going to want to create a business instagram account coming back to all those pictures and videos i told you guys to take while you were in school now is the time you're going to take those and put them to use 
You're going to want to pick an easy to remember Instagram handle. You don't want to have a bunch of letters or numbers. That way, this is really easy for anyone to remember. Somewhere in your bio, you'll want to put what you specialize in. Like in my bio, I have full body waxing and I say that I specialize in Brazilians. I don't recommend using your personal Instagram and I'll tell you guys why. If I want to post something completely unrelated to my business, I want to be able to do that without mixing my personal life with my business. I think this can come off as really confusing to any new potential clients. Now this isn't the case with every type of business, but I believe if you're an esthetician, you need to have a personal page and a business page because at the end of the day, you are trying to brand your business and not yourself. I don't always plan to be solo, so I want my business brand to speak for itself. I mean, if you look at any major brand, they all have their own business Instagram. I just wanna make it clear that you do not have to have a large following to have full books just to give you guys some perspective I have less than 2,000 followers but they are local and high quality and I'd rather have that than thousands of followers all over the country who are never gonna come see me when you're getting started out you're gonna want to go hard on the giveaways using local hashtags showing up on your stories and showing your face people really want to see who's behind the account and get to know the person they're coming to see the secret behind all of this is just consistency and quality content if you combine the two of these there's literally no way you can fail next we have word of mouth and providing a good customer experience you really want to give your clients the best experience literally from the moment they walk in to the moment they leave and it all starts with the way you present your space the way you present yourself and the quality of the work you're providing not only that but being able to make them feel comfortable throughout the whole service what this is gonna do is create client retention so the experience you create during the time that you're with them will make them want to come back over and over again and recommend your services to others next up we have reviews so let's say you're on Amazon and you're about to purchase something you've never bought before What's the first thing you're gonna do? You're gonna read the reviews. With that being said, I'm really proud of all the five-star reviews I've built up. Reviews will make or break a business, so your customer experience like we just talked about really comes into play here. One of the first things a new client will say to me is how they really liked all of the five-star reviews I have. It's 2022 and people really rely on these reviews to know the kind of service and quality of work to expect, so you gotta make sure every client leaves happy. Next, we have referral programs. It's nice to offer an incentive to clients whenever they send you a referral this can be something like five dollars per referral off of any product or service then we have seasonal or monthly promotions. for example each month I would offer a different promotion since I do waxing I've offered half off of underarms when you book a Brazilian and then the following month I might offer a free lip wax when you book an eyebrow wax not only giving clients more incentive to come in but also introducing other services at a discounted price that way they may fall in love with and choose to add these on for future appointments I wanted to reward my clients for being so loyal so I started my loyalty program last summer how it works is each service ranges from 25 to 100 points in value so once they've reached X amount of points they will receive X amount off of any service or product now this doesn't have to be anything huge but it's just a simple thanks for coming to see me this is something you can start right when you open you don't have to wait as long as I did and just to reiterate I want to remind you how important it is to take care of your clients make them excited to come and see you. Now to wrap everything up, let's talk about mindset. Growing is not meant to be comfortable, so it is important to have a strong mindset. You're gonna have your ups and downs, no doubt, but I want you to remember why you started your business. Create big goals for yourself and then break down those goals into small steps. You can say you wanna make six figures this year, but what are the steps you're gonna take to actually get there? So what I want you to do is sit down and write down your top five biggest goals for this year. Next, I want you to break down each goal into three to five smaller actionable steps and I want you to read this once per day next create a list of 10 affirmations that you believe you need to hear the most for example I am a confident six-figure esthetician in the making or I will be a magnet for ideas today you will also want to read this once per day over time you will see a big change and if you combine this with all the items I mentioned in today's video there is no way you can fail all right everyone thank you so much for watching this video if you have made it this far please consider subscribing to my page liking this video and if there's some topics from this video you would like me to dive deeper into please let me know and i will see you guys in the next video